Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with what's happening here on this channel. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much for tuning in today. So what I want to talk to you guys today about is rest, rest, rest. The importance of sleep and getting some rest. Rest is so important for our daily lives in order for us to be effective at the many hats that we may wear every day, the jobs that we have, um, just our effectiveness and everything that we do is so important for us to take the time to rest. What's so important to me and what really sticks out to me when I think about rest is that Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, came onto the earth and did so many wonderful things, yet he knew that it was important for him to pull away at times and to just take a nap. It was important for him to go to sleep, to take rest from his work, instead of just continuously going and going and going and going. And I think that's what ends up happening with us sometimes. We get so used to, um, you know, just getting in the rut of getting the next thing done, getting the next thing done. And before we know it, you know, we go through our days and our nights never end, and then we have to wake up super early, and we're not taking into account that we've not allowed our physical bodies to rest. And we're, we are no uh, good to anyone or anything if we're not taking the time to rest and rejuvenate. So it's so, so, so important for us to rest. Our physical bodies can't continue to go on in that particular race over and over and over before it begins to shut down. The body keeps score. So it's so important not to hit a wall of fatigue because we tricked ourselves into thinking that we could just continue to go and go and go. No, our bodies keep score. So before you go and get that next cup of coffee, before you go and get that, that energy drink and you tell yourself, hey, I'm gonna drink this and it's gonna help me push through another hour or two, it's gonna help me to push through another three hours or whatever. Just listen to your body and if your body is saying, I need to go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> It is so important to rest. You don't want to shut down. And I think that's so important for us um, because we are in a society where people thrive off of the next thing. People thrive off of, you know, being a part of the next thing, being a part of this event, this group activity, this, you know, whatever. Every pool that somebody has in you, every time somebody calls you for something or asks you to do something, you just feel obligated to say yes and keep going and keep doing and keep doing. When in actuality, sometimes you just need to be comfortable with saying no. We need to be comfortable with saying, hey, I can't make it this time or maybe the next time. Or can we do this at a different time? Because right now, I really need to take some time and just rest. What are you keeping yourself from? Or what, what level of productivity are you keeping yourself from? Because you're not taking the time to just rest. So a couple of things um, I just want to mention to you are a couple of things that, that we need to consider that are benefits of, of rest. The first thing is, is that rest opens up our minds for clarity. So if you don't have a clear mind, if your mind is not focused, then how effective are you really being in your day? If your mind is always run, wandering and just all over the place in your day, maybe it's because you've not gotten enough rest. Maybe it's, it's that you just need to take the time to rest and to rejuvenate so that you can think more clearly. The next thing is rest reduces stress. And how many of us need to reduce stress in our lives? One of the ways that we can reduce stress is just simply by going to sleep. Take a nap, you know, uh, make some extra time in your evening to just go to sleep. You just need to get that rest in so that you can begin to reduce the stress in your life. Sometimes just putting things down from a mental perspective, just put that down and go and rest and it'll help you to get past it. The third thing is rest boosts your immune system. So if you're one who typically uh, catches a lot of colds or when the seasons sway, a lot of times you, you'll get sick and different things of that nature. It's not to say that that's the only reason, but rest is also a thing that can help you to combat that by resting your body is able to rejuvenate those different cells that you need to be able to fight off infection and disease and those sort of things. So rest is very key in uh, boosting your immune system. The next thing is rest lowers your risk for heart disease. How many of us need to hear that? How many of us need to hear that shout it from the rooftop? Rest will lower your risk for heart disease. We need to take that seriously. So when you're drinking that uh, next cup of coffee, when you're drinking that energy drink, when you're at the middle of uh, the night, when it's you know, 12 a.m. and you're saying, 
you know, if I just need 30 more minutes, I can get this done. I can finish this up. I can wrap this up, you know, and I'll be done. You know, you gotta get up at six o'clock in the morning. Is that wise? You're working, you're overworking your heart. What you really need to do is put those things aside and get some rest. The next thing is, um, is that rest helps lower your, your risk for weight gain. So, if you want to be fine, go sleep. <laughs> it's that simple. Um, when you sleep at night, like for those of us who um, may weight train at times, or if you work out, you know that the muscles are going to repair themselves and they're going to grow as you rest. Um, your body at night is going to, uh, well, as you rest, rather, is going to um, get rid of toxins and, and waste in your body. So that when you wake up, your body rids itself of those uh, of waste and toxins and different things in that nature. But it doesn't happen effectively until you allow the body to rest. So what I want to say to you today is take a look at your schedule. Take a look at the many things that you may have on your schedule. Are you allowing yourself time for self-care and for rest? Or are you just building up this long, extensive schedule each and every day and all throughout your week that doesn't allow you the time to take care of you? I encourage you today to take the time to simply just rest. Your body will thank you for it. So lastly, I say, to whom it may concern, go to sleep. You need it. God bless you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.